Hello everybody, it's the Puzzle Turner, and today I'm going to show you how to solve these three different skewed cases. These are technically for the middle layers, but yeah, we'll just get right into the video. So this is not a full skewed tutorial. I'd recommend learning these algorithms after you learn beginner's method, and I'll leave a link to my beginner's method tutorial in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you don't already know how to solve a skewed. Before I begin the tutorial, there are some things that you guys should already know. If not, I'll go over them. If you do know how to do a sledgehammer, you know the opposite colors on a skew, and you know skew notation, then make sure you skip to the time on the screen. So a sledgehammer is a pretty simple algorithm, and it's actually the only algorithm that you need to know in order to solve a skew. But it is one that you are going to see in this tutorial, and it will be helpful if you know it, if you want to go more advanced in skew. So to finger trick it, hold it just like this, and then bring the side down, push that with your fingers, bring the side up with your thumb, and then pull it back. And that is a sledgehammer. This is a head slammer, it's the opposite of that. So I'm just going to do an opposite of a sledgehammer. But again, this is a sledgehammer, which you are going to see in this tutorial, and you will not see a head slammer. So the color scheme on a skew is same as one on a 3x3. So they all have the same opposite colors, such as white and yellow, blue and green, and red and orange. It's important that you memorize those. For skew notation, unlike on a 3x3, where you can do all these different moves, holding it in front on a skew, you're going to actually hold it tilted like this. So this is the right side, this is the left side, this is the upside, and this is the back side. And this is the front side. I guess you could say these are like the middle layer algorithms since they only really involve the centers, but when you have two layers solved and then you have another side, you're going to want to hold those two solve sides on the left and right and then your other solve side on the bottom. And then the side in front should have two opposite colors. So like green and orange aren't opposite, but for me, blue and green are. So once you hold it like this, you're going to want to do a sledgehammer and then rotate it and then do another sledgehammer. For this case, where you only have two solved layers and then you don't have any opposites, what you're going to want to do is hold it so that your two solved layers are on the top and bottom, and then have four different colors in your front. So like if I held it like this, these two are like the same colors, but these two aren't. So like these corners and then that center, those aren't the same colors. So then I'm going to perform this algorithm. R L prime, U prime, L, U, L, R, L prime, R. In this last case, we have two solved layers and then opposite centers all around. So what you're going to want to do is hold it to where on a skew where you have one corner in front and then the one that's on the, like the front left is a solved layer. Then you're going to want to perform this algorithm. R, U, R u prime r prime u prime and then rotate the cube and then do a sledgehammer if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below and if this video helped you out consider leaving me a like so it can help me out it matters more than you think it does anyway thank you for watching this video and i truly hope it helped